Hi everyone, I'm Rena Thaler, Executive Director of the Art League of Ocean City, and I'm here with our um, Social Media Coordinator and Education Assistant, Megan Burek, and we're here to welcome you to our beautiful home, the Ocean City Center for the Arts, for another great month of Why Art Matters. This segment is brought to you by the Ocean Downs Casino, where the fun shines. So Megan, I love summertime here yes. at the Art Center. Everything is so fresh looking and new and with some great new exhibits. Tell us what's showing in the galleries. So this month we have our 22nd annual Beverly Basford Memorial Juried Show. Um, this was named after a former board member of the Art League. Um, and we have two floors worth of amazing artwork here. Um, the show is regional and local artists. We had about 100 entries and mm -hmm. about 60 some got in. Um, so we're really excited to have people in yeah, to see this beautiful it's, show. It's really cool because both gallery spaces are filled with the artwork from the Beverly Basford exhibit. And yeah. uh, it's always one of our most selective shows for yeah. artists, most prestigious shows, and just beautiful artwork for mm -hmm. people to enjoy. And everything is for sale, and, and so people can yeah. collect a piece of, of uh, original artwork. 2D so. and 3D work. There was no theme, so there's a bunch of... There's something for everybody at this show. Definitely, yeah. definitely. So, yeah. and then in, in the other gallery spaces, we have some visiting artists that are here with us and, and some art in unexpected places this yeah. month that people should check out. So, so we have a new um, art installation over at the 94th Street Tennis Courts mm -hmm. um, created by Jean Anderton. It's called Seaside Collections. Mm -hmm. And she actually went to the Ocean City Boardwalk and picked up um, trash, but also natural elements like sand and mm -hmm. uh, shells, and then she put them on photosensitive paper, mm -hmm. and the sun created these amazing white spaces where the objects are. Mm -hmm. So those are lined um, up against the tennis courts right now. Right, and so that is called the cyanotype when you do those kind of sun prints. Yes. And Jean also has the original prints hanging here in the Spotlight Gallery, so mm -hmm. people can see the originals and then see the um, the tennis court public art project and I yeah. love that that piece outside because it is a hundred feet long it's so it's, huge it's yeah. huge and uh, this summer we're going to have the building filled with kids at camp mm -hmm. and the kids are going to be able to interact with it and work with the artists to make their own sun prints so yeah. that's that's part of what this place is different we're not a museum we're a living art center mm -hmm. where you can come in, engage with the art, make art, and enjoy the art on the walls. Yeah. So tell us about some of the other spaces people can find artwork here. So we actually have a, our staircase gallery now. Um, Francisco Madera and Ian Postley created this beautiful mural um, in our star stairwell. And then we also have several um, artworks lining the stairwell as well. So mm -hmm. we're definitely expanding and using every inch of space we can. Mm -hmm. So. Absolutely, and that's kind of like a surreal, we were talking yes, uh, yes. Salvador Dali type. Inspired, definitely, um, yeah. E exhibits or something different mm -hmm. to look at. And then in Studio E, we have a guest artist here yeah, as well. Yeah, so Nancy Ryder is up in Studio E, um, and then in our Artisan Showcase, um, we have Lisa Scarbath as oh, well. Oh yes, with her steampunk little the little crabs, sculptures yeah. and crabs. So, yeah. so it's definitely a treat. And the, the gift shop here is open, we have over 100 artisans that show and sell their work here. Mm -hmm. So people that are here for the summer on vacation want to come home with a nice, beautiful memento of their trip, something handmade, um, they can come here. And then they can come here and make things themselves. They can. So we have a full list of summer classes um, available to view online as well as in our classes newsletter. Um, painting, glass, we have yarn classes. Um, kids can make these cute little fairy gardens. That's new for this mm -hmm. summer. Lots of kids programs yeah. for the summer. Yeah, so mm -hmm. definitely check it out. And we have two off-site galleries with brand new uh, exhibits um, mm -hmm. that open this month as well. So yeah. uh, Princess Royale is featuring the work of uh, Maggie mm -hmm. Safardi, who will be one of our plein air artists. So it's all yeah. artwork that she did on location. She'll be here for our competition in August. And then um, Beth Dealey with her beautiful um, macrames and, and wall hangings over at the coffee beanery yes. right down the street from the art center. So check it all out. Come out and visit us. We're open seven days a week. Mm -hmm. We have a great team here at the Art League that are here to greet you and um, explain about the art. Um, this summer we're doing free kids crafts every Saturday, mm -hmm. 11 a.m. and um, gallery tours, uh, docent led gallery tours every Sunday at 1 p.m. Yep. So. Get it all, soak it all in, and come see us at the Art Center on 94th Street.